Before the video continues, if you're looking to buy phones, laptops, monitors, DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram is in the description or I'm going to put it up here for you guys. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ship of 5 And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Type-C cable to display port and answering the majority of questions that I get on my comments section. So I have a 144 hertz laptop and I have a 240 hertz monitor. And with my laptop, I can use HDMI 2.1 to connect it or DisplayPort or the Type-C. But some people just have the HDMI or they just have the HDMI and Type-C or some like me have everything, the HDMI, the Type-C and the DisplayPort. So this is for the Type-C cable. So first of all, when you get the Type-C cable, you guys keep asking me, how do I connect the Type-C to the DisplayPort? It's not like a normal Type-C cable. It doesn't come like a normal Type-C cable where this is Type-C and the other part is like USB. No, it's not the same kind of cable that you use to charge your phone. This is not the Type-C cable. When you get the Type-C cable to connect the laptop to the monitor, it's a different kind of cable. Type-C display port, it's in one. You don't need an adapter. You guys keep telling me that, should I use the Type-C with the adapter and use it for the display port? No, you do not need an adapter. It comes with the Type, not Type-C, it comes with the port for the display port that you put in the monitor. There's no Type-C port on the monitor is just an HDMI and a display port. This is the port that it comes with, with the type C. Maybe you guys can't see it properly, but this is the port it comes with. And secondly, getting the right cable. With all the cables I tell you guys about, the HDMI, the type C and the display port, make sure that they can actually give off 240 hertz in my case i have a 240 hertz monitor or whichever refresh rate that you want make sure that the cable is actually capable of giving that amount of refresh rate because if you didn't know some cables stop at 120 some cables stop at 140 some cables stop at 160 or 180 or 180 is it 186 185 and some stop at 200 some stop 240 and some go all the way to the 360 it's not just one cable for all yeah if you have the 360 you can use it for all obviously but some don't actually give the amount of refresh rate that you think that's why i keep telling you guys make sure to ask the shop how much refresh rate can the cable give like how much is it capable of giving this one can give 240 hertz that's why i got this one I don't need a higher one because my monitor is 240 hertz. If I want another one in the future, I'll get another cable. And Type-C is mainly for like video. It helps with video a lot. I'm not saying it's bad for games. The number one cable for games is the DisplayPort, in my opinion. This is good as well, but I rank it as DisplayPort, Type-C, then HDMI. To connect your laptop to your monitor for gaming. But for video and maybe you're a video editor or something, Type-C is pretty good for that. I don't know why, but it's pretty good for that. It's also good for games. I'm just saying the display port is more... Uh, how do I say? Better. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends that have the same problem or are looking to buy a laptop or looking to buy a monitor. So don't hesitate to leave any kind of comment in the comment section. Like if you have a question or something you still don't understand, I always reply to you guys and see you on the next video peace out wait put those notifications on peace out